Hello everyone. So I was uh, doing something today for uh, billing my clients. Basically, I log time where I have to track my work, and every month I have to bill my client based on the number of hours I spent. Now in Jira, of course, you can log time, but uh, not many people know that you can actually retrieve the work logs or basically issues where you logged your time based on a simple jql and let, and let me show you it's very simple you just need to go to your advanced search and uh, when you go to advanced search you can uh, write a jql here and uh, to write a new jql of course you know you can uh, switch to the advanced uh, option which is basically jql so basically what you can do is you can do something like this work log work log uh, basically, if you want to retrieve a work log between two dates, you can do something like greater than, equal to, and then uh, type in here the date, which is, let us say, I want to retrieve the work log for the month of, or let us say, since, or maybe for the month of May. So, 2023 slash 0, um, 0, 01 and you can do the same thing for of course uh, i mean just work log or oh no not really work log basically work date sorry work log date and work log date less than equal to 2023 2023 hyphen 05 hyphen 31 and if you press enter you will get one issue where uh, you lock time and this is of course uh, this will narrow down to those issues as long as you're the only one i mean of course uh, what you can also do is you can also do uh, basically do something like uh, and work log author and uh, you can say here equal to uh, current user basically you have to narrow narrow down to all the issues where you, where you lock time and this is it it's very simple and maybe i'll just try to maybe uh, bring in more issues by expanding the range so i'll probably start from uh, february and uh, uh, do we have more issues in the list here not really maybe i'll just go 2022 let us see okay so we have a lot of issues <laughs> where i log time and this is this is great right now based on this of course i mean imagine you're doing you, you're doing it every month and uh, maybe you can uh, i think you can also do something like uh, i mean you can do it manually of course which is fine but there are some date based uh, functions which you can do which is uh, probably which is going to help you probably but uh, just do it manually if you are worried about the money because ba ba because based on this you will charge someone now you can of course use something like uh, start of uh, month and uh, you can of course go one month uh, like the, the previous month so it will work start of the month and end of the month so something like that and there are a lot of examples by the way but of course uh, you can always type in here uh, the date and that is wonderful and uh, that is it simple video but i hope but i hope uh, you found this video useful and you learned something new thank you very much